If you have ever seen a dragon in a pinch, you will realize that this was only poetical exaggeration applied to any hobbits. Even to old Tuk's great-granduncle Boror, who was so huge for a hobbit that he could ride a horse. He charged the ranks of the goblins of Mount Gram in the Battle of the Green Fields and knocked the king's golfibos head clean off with a wooden club. It sailed a hundred yards through the air and went down a rabbit hole. And in this way, the battle was won and the game of golf invented at the same moment. In the meanwhile, however, Boror's gentler descendant was reviving in the drawing room. After a while and a drink, he crept nervously to the door of the parlor. This is what he heard, Gloin speaking, humph, or some snort more or less like that. Will he do, do you think? It's all very well for Gandalf to talk about this hobbit being fierce, but one shriek like that in a moment of excitement would be enough to wake the dragon and all his relatives and kill the lot of us. I think it sounded more like fright than excitement. In fact, if it had not been for the sign on the door, I should have been sure we had come to the wrong house. <laughs>